three, two, one. We have ignition. Most notably, we identified a system called TRAPPIST-1, which has seven Earth-sized planets sort of snuggling up to what's a very cool star. And of those planets, three of them at least are in the habitable zone. I never had any conception that we'd be going for 16 years. And even now, the proposal pressure, the people who want to use Spitzer, the ideas that they're coming forward with are, are, are fresh and new. The rocket launches, uh, it's thrusting out flames and you're watching and you have all those emotions and the rocket goes along on this journey and it deploys Spitzer. The longevity of the mission is a direct result of the engineers and scientists and people that have supported the mission.
Spitzer has unveiled the infrared universe. It has enabled humans to see what our eyes could not see. You can peer inside of clouds of dust to see the baby stars called protostars being born. It let us see into more distant galaxies and see how the patterns of dust tell us about the motions of gas and the dynamics of gravity that operate in these objects. All of a sudden, we could create these vast panoramas at incredibly sharp resolutions that we'd never been able to do before. And as a result, everything that was familiar in the sky, every nebula that we're used to seeing in visible light images from the ground, things from Hubble, they became completely different when seen through the infrared eyes of Spitzer. It was this combination of a, a scientific insight that itself was just stunningly beautiful at the same time. When Spitzer launched, exoplanet science was absolutely not part of the science portfolio we were offering for Spitzer because it wasn't considered to be sensitive enough to do that kind of observations. But while in flight, Astronomers became clever about how they could use it. Engineers became very clever about how we could repurpose Spitzer. And exoplanet science has actually become one of the core science projects of Spitzer since then. The biggest surprise in terms of what was revealed with Spitzer is its ability to characterize exoplanets, so planets around other stars. The Google Doodle that day, which was Trappist-1, is what kind of finished me off on a glorious day. Um, when your adult children point out that, you know, my mom works on that telescope, you know, that's, that's very rewarding. In a place that dares mighty things, you can do it together. And so when you have that kind of union, I think what happens is magic. I'm hoping Spitzer will be remembered as in a really amazing uh, scientific gift and that it allowed us to kind of transform our understanding of some very important aspects of astronomy. And I think Spitzer's been integral to all that.